Hello everybody, Drifty here from Driftwood Gaming and in this RPG Maker MV tutorial I'm going to show you how you can extend your icon set and add new icons. So the first thing you're going to want to do is uh, load up your uh, software for editing uh, images. You can use GIMP for free. I'll put a link in the description below where you can download GIMP for free. But uh, we're going to navigate over to our, um, our game folder and uh, open, go into our system folder and open up our icon set.png. So it'll be in your IMG folder and system. So you're going to look for your icon set.png. Here we found it. And if you're using Photoshop, you can press Control and Plus to uh, zoom in a bit. And GIMP has similar functions. But um, if you, uh, no matter the size of your icon set, you can extend it downwards. You wouldn't really want to extend it across. But uh, how you would do that is you would just go to uh, image. I believe it's image. Or is it? Uh... And we're going to go to canvas size. That's what we're looking for. So we're going to select canvas size. And we're going to um, uncheck relative. We're going to select pixels, and then we're going to move our anchor point like this so that it doesn't extend all the, the icons to make them bigger. You want it to make space at the bottom, so you can see how we're changing this by clicking up here. And basically, you're going to extend the height by 32 pixels. So we can open up our calculator and go 1184 plus 32. So we're going to turn this 1184 into 1216. Hitting OK should extend the icon size so now you have more room to add your new icons. So let's do that. Let's make a new icon. We're going to take our selector tool and we're going to highlight an icon. Uh, you could just draw and create your own if you want, but uh, it's pretty cool what you can do with free transform. So let's just take any icon. Let's grab this one right here. We're going to highlight that block, that 32 by 32. We're going to press control C. We're copying that from layer zero. We're going to go down to uh, the next location where we have a free slot. We're going to select that. 32 by 32 uh, grid and then we're going to press control V that's going to paste it. It will also create a new layer. When we save it as a PNG it will put it all on one layer but for now we're going to take that there. If we wanted to, to change the size of this we can highlight that, right click it and go free transform. Uh, we would have to be on the same layer for it so we right click that free transform and now we can move the size of this around. Uh, we can rotate it and really uh, change this icon to look like whatever we want it to look like. So let's go ahead and extend that a little bit to kind of scale the whole square. Uh, that'll work just like that. We want to keep it in that box because uh, RPG Maker is going to look in a 32 by 32 pixel box for that icon. We could extend it out a little bit more like that. And then we're going to select the check mark uh, to say okay we like the changes. Now we're going to go and take another icon, put something else on top of that. We could grab let's say this one. We're going to make sure we're on layer zero. We're going to copy that again and go down. <coughs> We're going to select that same spot that we just put a, an icon in. And then we're going to press Control V. And that's going to create a new layer. And you may notice that it's behind it. To adjust the layer, uh, you just slide it up like that. And it'll put this one on top of it. So we're selecting layer 2. So we can just select this whole thing again. Right click that and free transform. So we can resize this. Move it around. Put it wherever we want like that. We could always go back to, we'll, we'll check mark that to say we want to accept those changes. We could always go back to the other layer that we just created. If we wanted to free transform this again and sort of like put it right inside the box so we're not taking up extra pixels. We'll save our changes. Go to layer 2 move this around a little bit let's 
Save our changes. Let's take one more icon. Let's go ahead and select maybe maybe this one over here looks cool. Or the wind icon. We're going to go to layer 0 because this is on layer 0. Copy that. Go back down to that same icon. We are editing. Highlight that box again. Paste it right in there. We're going to move this layer up to the top. And we can highlight this. Free transform. Let's rotate it a little bit. Save our changes there. And maybe do one more actually. Let's take um, an element. Let's go with this wind element. Go back to layer zero. Copy that. Highlight this box. Paste it right there. Let's move this layer up a bit. I like this tornado. Right click it, free transform, and you can see what we're doing here. And this is a rough example of what you can do. We'll save our changes. Let's see if we move this layer around, how's it look? Put the sword on top. And basically you'll just play around with the layers until you get the, the icon that you're looking for. I think we'll go with that. We'll save our changes there. And when you're done creating your new icon, you're just going to save it, um, or you can save it as. So when you save it, it's going to try to to overwrite it. But if you save as, you have the option to, s to save it as a PSD file in Photoshop. And this will let you edit the layers later on. So you could probably want to do that. So um, also, in order for RPG Maker MV to read it, you're going to have to save it as a PNG file. So we're going to save iconset.png and it's going to ask if you want to overwrite your existing one. If you do, you can. Um, you can also copy and paste your um, original icon set. So if we can go into MV here, we're going to save our game. We're going to go to game, open folder, and then in our, M our IMG system folder, we have our icon set right here. So we can copy that and paste it right here to create an additional copy. And that'll give us a backup copy. And you probably want to do this before you start editing your, your PNG file. That way, when you overwrite it, if something happens and you accidentally save it, you don't mess up your icon set and have to, to download another one. But that's pretty much it. That's all you really got to do. We'll go into our RPG Maker. We've saved our game. So let's look at our icon set. We'll go down to the bottom where we have all these additional spaces. And now we have a new icon. And you can see the icon number right here is 580. So as long as you uh, don't extend to the right, you just extend downwards by 32 pixels, you can just keep adding more icons to your icon set. So now we've got this skill. I don't know what we're going to do with this, but we'll make a skill out of it. So that's going to do it for this episode. Thank you guys for watching. Remember to like, favorite, share, and subscribe if you like this sort of content. Um, you guys are very awesome. So thank you so much for your support. And we will see you in the next tutorial.